Welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Welcome back, Fight Fans. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. And this is a part of our 50-50 series with Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz Jr. And, you know, this is just basically giving us an in-depth look at Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz Jr. and the three reasons why each particular fighter should be able to win a respective rematch. It's such a close fight. So we're just going to get into three reasons why Anthony Joshua should be able to defeat Andy Ruiz Jr., in a rematch and the first reason we have to get into is power you know anthony joshua has more power than andy ruiz jr he has more power than vastly any other heavyweight in the division excluding deontay wilder you know he has a 91 percent knockout rate so he virtually knocks out legitimately anyone he steps in the ring with and that's how powerful his punch is you know there's only two fighters in his whole career that's went the distance and that's andy ruiz jr and joseph parker and so and even in those fights joseph parker was hesitant to engage and Andy Ruiz Jr. got dropped for the first time in his career when Anthony Joshua connected clean and so you have to be honest and unbiased and realize that Anthony Joshua's power is probably the most dangerous and most pivotal reason why Anthony Joshua will win a rematch with Andy Ruiz Jr. The second reason Anthony Joshua should beat Andy Ruiz Jr. in a rematch is particular weight loss muscle loss the fact that Anthony Joshua has slimmed down and, you know, lost a lot of the big bulky muscles that have been dragging him down was causing a lot of fatigue and stamina issues. And at this point, Anthony Joshua should be more equipped to deal with the speed of Andy Ruiz Jr. Because Andy Ruiz Jr. has faster hands than Anthony Joshua, but he doesn't have faster feet than Anthony Joshua and a lot of people who does film study they realize that Anthony Joshua's feet is going to be a consistent problem for Andy Reese Jr. And the fact that he's bringing down that muscle, that bulkiness, he'll be able to maneuver more. He'll be able to have better endurance and he'll be able to push Andy Ruiz Jr. to limits and drag him to deep water that he's never, ever dreamed of being in. And the third reason is Anthony Joshua actually has a good chin. And, you know, I know a lot of people say Anthony Joshua has no chin. He has no chin. And, you know, and when you look back at the Vladimir Klitschko fight, people point to that and say, look, he got dropped by Klitschko. You look at the Andy Ruiz Jr. fight, look, he got dropped. By Andy Ruiz Jr. but he was put to sleep and neither one of those fights was he put to sleep Andy Anthony Joshua literally got up in both of those fights neither one of those fights did Anthony Joshua get knocked down and stay down he got up four times against Ruiz he got up one time against Klitschko he still went on to defeat and knock out Klitschko and then against Anthony Ruiz Jr. Andy Ruiz Jr. you know he did lose that match but he showed a lot of heart and resilience consistently getting up and if he didn't have a good chin one of those strong hard shots would have nailed him and dropped him indefinitely for the fight and that simply just didn't happen um, you know and if he had no good chin he wouldn't be able to defeat guys like Alexander Povetkin who is known as a top level elite level knockout artist Dillian White who's known as an elite level top level knockout artist these guys are very good fighters but when it comes to knockouts these guys rack them up they're known for their extensive power they're known for breaking you down wearing you down as Dillian White and Alexander Povetkin can literally put you to sleep with one shot so these guys are top level fighters and they both hit anthony joshua clean on the chin even andy ruiz jr hit anthony joshua clean on the chin and didn't move him what moved anthony joshua was when andy ruiz hit him on the side of the head so we understand that anthony joshua has a much better chin than most people give him credit for and only a casual or fanboy won't recognize it but once again unbiased as always it's the ibfp please share like and you must absolutely subscribe